Ireland, Spain, Norway, all announcing they will formally recognize Palestine not as a territory, but as its own country. And News Nation's Alicia Nieves joins us right now live from the United Nations. Obviously, this is angering a lot of people. And then you have those who have been very passionately pro-Palestinian who believe this validates that potential for a two-state solution. Yeah, certainly a lot of feelings here, right? You know, we're standing in front of the United Nations as a bit of a reminder that more than 140 out of the 193 kind of nation states or member states, excuse me, or countries uh, that are part of the UN, they already have put this in place. They already recognize Palestine as its own country. So this kind of coordinated effort between Ireland, Spain, and Norway, really just adding to the pressure not only to Israel, but certainly to other member nations like the United States. The leaders of these three countries say this move is really coming after a hope that has been around that a two-state nation would ultimately be the end of results of this war. However, after seven long months, tens of thousands of innocent lives lost, they now believe finally recognizing Palestine as its own state may be the kind of needed impetus or catalyst for peace. I've spoken with a number of other leaders and counterparts, and I'm confident that further countries will join us in taking this important step in the coming weeks. Yeah, meanwhile, meanwhile, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is calling this a, quote, reward for terrorism. And in response, Israel's foreign minister has instructed the immediate recall of its ambassadors to Spain, Ireland, and Norway, adding a really stern warning. The actions of these countries could undermine Israel's efforts to return hostages being held in Gaza. And of course, as you can see, some more of that graphic footage that you talked about a moment ago, hostages in Gaza just being released, or excuse me, this video being released of these hostages really just shows the focus for Israelis, and Israel remains on that, getting these hostages home. We send a clear and unequivocal message to their leaders. Israel will not remain silent in the face of those. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.